Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we gather on the 35th day of Easter, continuing in this joyful season. In two more weeks, we will have the glorious celebration of Pentecost. Today's Gospel from St. John, from chapter 14, identifies the theme which captures the essence of this Easter celebration, what this passion, death and resurrection of our Lord means for us and how we should live that out. God desires to abide in us now that He is risen from the dead to give us life, but then remains with us in the life of the Church so that He can live with us. Jesus says, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. What an unbelievable invitation this is to us and for us. The reason Christ desires to be with us and in us, and this is what we celebrate most profoundly in this Holy Eucharist. Our Lord promises that the Father will send the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, who, He says, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. He continues, You and I can remain in this knowledge and truth of Christ, whose enduring presence is with us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Peace I give to you, our Lord says. He says, Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. And it's the reality, I think, that we need more and more peace. Sometimes we are so easily agitated or live in a state of anxiety, and it becomes more clear to me every day than ever before that the peace of Christ is the most priceless gift and treasure that you and I can have. The grace is the promise to send the Holy Spirit to guide the Church always so that we may be sustained by the power of His love. Let us truly know and absolutely believe that Jesus continues to dwell with us and in us as we receive Him in every Eucharistic celebration. Let us truly know and absolutely believe that we are filled with the greatest gift that any of us can ever have, the very peace of God, the peace which is not of this world, but of the world to come, that the peace is ours now. And we pray all the days of our lives here on earth that one day we will be forever in that eternal glory of heaven. God bless you all.